I'm Mike Melnick, and this is My Peterborough. Last time, the pig's owner and former record producer and sound engineer, John Punter, gave us a little history on the pig's ear and on his time in the music industry. Over his 30-year music career, John worked with the Hollies, Procol Harum, Brian Ferry, and Roxy Music, Nazareth, just to name a few. Sadly, John didn't give me much hope for a music career after hearing the mayor and I sing the classics. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> How's your hearing? <laughs> no <Not> good. <laughs> One thing you may not know about the pig's ear is that dancing is not allowed. People would ask, why well, can't we dance in here? I'd go, well, we don't have a license. And they'd go, you have to have a license to dance? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, every place has a dancing license. And they, they wouldn't believe me for a while. As John was finishing his music producing career in the 80s, a young Trent student by the name of Carol Lawless was laying claim to fame as being one of the youngest waitresses ever to work at the Pig's Ear. How old were you when you were doing this? I was 21. And I lived on Water Street, um, where Le Petit Bar is now. I lived upstairs, and the examiner was across the street. And I rented an apartment, and I came home and I said to my mom, I got a job right across the street from, um, from where I live. And my mom said, you got a job at the examiner? <laughs> and I said, no, the pig's ear. And my mom was mortified. What was your best tip night? I came home with $100. Tips. Yeah. Did you claim that? Yes. <laughs> you are so full of it. Do you think you can still carry a tray of glasses or beer bottles? Um, let's try. <laughs> are you scared? You're going to drop it, aren't you? I don't think oh, so. I got when, it. When you get to the table, do you do a bit of a curtsy? Oh, yeah, I'll show you. What, like the Playboy do you Club? Do me do it? Yeah. Over 30 years later, I have to admit, Carol can still walk the walk. Here, Mike. Thank you. And then if you were not behaving yourself, I'd say, Mike, your friends are having a good time. Yours just ended. Really? That's you the did that? That's the cutoff line. I serve Paul Schaefer uh, from The Letterman Show. Nice guy. Very nice guy. Good tipper? Good tipper. Funny. Did nice. You, did you have to cut him off? No, we'd never, we'd never cut him off. My Peterborough is brought to you by Darling Insurance. Proud of our past, positive about our future.